Hey, and welcome back to Ember Sparks. So far, our application has only been using one JavaScript file, one HTML file, and then some pasted in library files. However, our app is starting to grow, and if we don't find a better foundation for it, we're going to start running into some problems. The first problem is that our files are going to get very long if we're trying to stuff all of our JavaScript into one app.js and all of our templates in one index.html. The second is that all of our dependencies have to be updated manually. So if a new version of Ember comes out, we have to get it and check to make sure that it works correctly with the Ember data and handlebars versions that we're using. And that's going to get increasingly difficult as we, re we rely on more and more libraries. The third is that connecting with a server through cross-origin resource sharing or cores, doing it without proper tooling is pretty difficult. And that's one reason why this screencast is late, is because I was trying to do that without the proper tooling. So if we keep on with our current architecture, eventually we're going to have lots of issues. So what tools will we need? When I was deciding which tool to use for the screencast, I went for the most accept accessible options. That means the ones that used the Rails route because that could alienate a good 10% of our listeners. And ones that were still in beta were also out. So that leaves Ember App Kit. However, it should be noted that Ember CLI will be coming out of beta within the next few months, hopefully. And at that point, we'll make the switch. The recommended method for getting started with Ember App Kit is to download the zip file from their site. Then, go ahead and rename it to whatever you want, as well as moving it around to the correct directory. And then go ahead and cd into that folder. Once you're there, run npm install to get everything set up. Then run grunt server. Then go ahead and visit on localhost 8000. And that's really all there is to it. Ember App Kit has a lot of cool features right out of the box. It has Bower set up to give us the latest Ember, as well as a lot of commonly used libraries. It has grunt set up to concatenate our files, and it has a folder structure that encourages good organization. And there's a lot more. We'll start exploring those next week when we import our app into this structure. See you then.